Hello, this is Armando Perez, president and owner of Hoosier Security, and I wanted to take a minute to show you how a fisheye camera works within DW Spectrum. So without further ado, let's go ahead and share this screen and I will show you how that works. All right, what we are looking at here is our DW Spectrum uh, VMS, and we've got a five megapixel fisheye kind of out in the warehouse area. Um, with uh, a couple of interesting things. So as you look at this, you'll notice this video is not really very usable as is, right? Um, there's some stuff that's upside down. It's kind of in a, in a weird shape. There's there's all kinds of stuff going on here. So uh, first things first, I'm going to show you how we can make this video more usable um, and then how we can manipulate that video and manipulate the camera to do the things that we want. So uh, fish eyes are not the answer to every problem. So uh, make sure that you understand why a fish eye is being proposed for a specific situation. Um, and uh, that will give you some insight into uh, why we've chosen that camera and why we've not just put a regular camera over in the corner. So uh, you'll see, we'll compare this to a couple of different cameras that we have out in that space. You'll see that the, the video is entirely different. Um, and and when you're looking at a normal camera, you will see that you get detail in certain places. But when you're looking at a fisheye, you've got very high detail in the middle, but a rapidly uh, diluting video quality as you get out towards the edges of the screen. So we will go ahead and hit this guy up here in the upper right corner. That is our fisheye view that allows us to manipulate this video. So you'll see that now all of a sudden it looks like a regular camera, all right? Uh, we can move this around. It's a 90 degree view, but you see compared to the other camera that we had, this video quality out here at the edge is really not as good. So fish eyes, very good for situational awareness. They will not give you a whole lot of detail though. Okay. Um, so uh, you'll wonder what this green thing is there that is masking because that is the door to our warehouse bathroom. So we don't want to be recording that. So it will never record that no matter what you're doing with this camera. All right, so over here you see 90 degrees um, and you see plus and minus. So we can, let's take a look over here at uh, what our shipping and receiving area. So we can zoom in with that and move in a little closer, get more detail. We can zoom out and go a little wider than 90. You see it's it's actively de-warping that video as you move it around, right? 90 changes, right? We can make different, this is 180 degree view. So it gives you a, a fisheye of more traditional uh, 180 degree view and you can still manipulate it and move it around. See the bottom here gets a little distorted and you can do 360, which makes it act like the video is the camera is sitting there uh, in the middle of the room looking all the way around. Again, some distortion around the bottom. Fisheye is not the right application for everything. So, all right, let's get this back out to uh, the 90. There we go. All right, we can right click on this camera and adjust our camera settings. Um, so you'll notice, let's see if I can find it. I haven't done this in a while. All right. Um, All right, motion detection. Uh, you can still set motion detection the way you would normally on any camera. And then here it is, de-warping. So we can take a fisheye camera and mount it how this one is on the ceiling. Uh, we've got some lens options for how we can, we can adjust the view of that depending on what your purpose is. This is all stuff that we will deal with uh, for you. And then you can also mount this on a wall which will change that. It would make it, uh, would eliminate half the pixels so that you can view straight out instead of looking down. And it changes the way that the camera de-warps. Okay. Uh, you can also do a floor or table, uh, which is I'm not entirely sure where that's ever been used, but it, it has been used. Uh, and then you can adjust things like how the, the camera sees this image so that it can adjust and, and do all the things that it needs to do. Okay. Uh, we're not going to make any of those changes. So when we're doing this, let's say we want to know when somebody was over by the fridge. You'll see how it knocks you back out to this, right? Makes it a little more difficult to work with, but it still works. It still shows you all of the um, the video motion 
that you need. Let's zoom in here around the sixth. It looks like we had some activity over there on the break room. We'll go right here and we'll hit play. And we'll see again at night or in the dark, you see that it's rapidly degrading the video quality. Um, it still have situa situational awareness, but you don't necessarily have the best view. So we will pause that. Proper way to use a fisheye uh, is to use it for situational awareness and then use a different camera for the things that um, you want to see some detail on. So we'll pull up this uh, PTZ that we have here. We'll see that Brian is out there first thing in the morning. We've got a much better view of what he's doing right here. Um, and we can manipulate that video around, right? Set motion on there. And then you see Brian walking up, making his morning coffee with much better detail than we would on that fisheye. All right, so very good for situational awareness. Uh, let's take this back out to live. There's our live view right now, much better with some good light. And then, of course, you can zoom in on any of these other ones and move that around. Some interesting uses of the fisheye. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of all of these. Let's pull that fisheye back up. And let's use our picture in picture to get some interesting uh, areas, right? We're going to highlight that right there. And then we're going to move it over to where we actually want it. Let's say we want to monitor this door. So we do that. We can do another picture in picture. Uh, let's do our overhead over here. And you'll see that even though it's upside down on this, on this fisheye view, it's not upside down on the actual individual view that you want to see. Uh, let's take <clears throat> one more area and let's say we want to have uh, another screenshot over here on our build bench. We'll do fisheye. Now, fish, I will do picture in picture and we'll drop that over there. And now you've got multiple cameras uh, that are watching different things all in one uh, one camera. We can move this guy over here if you want. I'm going to see. Say we've got some particularly valuable inventory right there. There's some Vigilant cameras over there. It's kind of expensive. So uh, we want to see who's in this area at all times. All right. So we're going to watch that side of inventory. We're going to watch this door over here. We're going to watch the uh, the build bench and see what, what kind of production we get out of there. Um, and then uh, let's see if there's anything else interesting in here we want to watch. We could do another picture in picture of our training area. Let's do that. This and drop that guy over there. Now we can see kind of our training area over here. Uh, where we do our, our training for technicians. And with, as with anything else, you can right click and then save the current layout as, we'll call this uh, fisheye demo view. Let's save that. So I'll leave this and then I will come back over here to layouts and we'll look for fisheye demo view. We'll open that up and there it is like magic. It shows up and we can share that view with other people and anybody who needs um, to see what we're doing. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, please let me know if there is uh, anything we can do for you at Hoosier Security. And if you're being proposed a fisheye camera, uh, it should be for reasons that should now be clear because these are some of the things that you can only do with a fisheye uh, in exchange, of course, for slightly reduced video quality.